Hi, right, Mark Sanders back with Blackout 33. Today we're going to be making some homemade uh, laundry detergent. And I'll go through the ingredients real quick. It's pretty simple. I'm going to just give you a quick run through. We're going to make some so the video won't be too short. And I believe uh, all you guys at home will be able to make your own. So let's get started. I'm going to step up a little closer because it's kind of far away. Borax. Get it local Kroger, Publix. One cup of borax, one cup of super washing soda, not baking soda, it is washing soda. So one cup and one cup. Right here we have a measuring cup, which is two cups. We have one cup full of borax, super washing soda, one cup. So we already have this pre-mixed. And the third thing you need is Fells Naphtha Soap. If you can see that there, this is the this package comes in. You can also get it at Kroger or uh, or at Publix. I already have a little bit cut up here. And this is what it looks like up close. If you can see that, it is a goldish yellow color. And we're just cutting it up now as one whole bar. We're going to cut it up. So we're going to put four cups of water. Bring it to a bowl and add the soap to it. Once you add that to there, just keep stirring it where the, uh, the soap's going to melt. And we will add the, uh, the borax and the super washing soda. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. This is an awesome way to save money when you have a large family. I have my wife and four kids. It has saved us a tremendous amount of money. It, it makes, this little bit right here is going to make five gallons. So you got to have your five-gallon bucket, warm water, Fells naphtha soap, one cup of borax, and one cup of super washing soda. And I will be back with you in a minute. I'm going to finish cutting this up, and we'll be back and start boiling it down and start mixing the ingredients together, and I will show you how to do that next. Now we're going to get back to uh, mixing the Fells naphtha soap. I have it cut up in little chunks. This is just for time because it's, it, it, it'll, it'll melt down a lot quicker when I put it in a bowl of water. And I'll try to get you closer. This is what it looks almost looks like cheese. And here we've added four cups of water into this pot. I'm going to mix it here and we're going to let it... Uh, this, this stuff smells amazing too. It, it really does a job cleaning the clothes. It, it gets the uh, stains out of the kids' pants. It gets blood out of my clothes from when I go hunt and kill a deer but uh, let me let me show you this real quick I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit here if you can see that's that's all it is fells nap to soap four cups of boiling water we're gonna bring it to a bowl we have the nice uh, wooden spoon here and guess what guys Goodwill store wash it you can use it. I use it to stir the soap with. We leave it in there with it. This is just for the uh, laundry detergent. And guys, this will make, bind the borax, bind the uh, super washing soda, and the one bar fails not to soak. I believe it's around $1.20 for one bar because you got to use one whole bar. Uh, on the uh, boxes of borax and the uh, super washing soda, it will make approximately about 30, 30 gallons of a uh, washing detergent. It smells good, it cleans good, it don't irritate the skin. It's just a nice, pleasant smell. I mean, this right here is just, it, it is awesome. This, the smell is so soothing. I mean, it, it can't go, it's not men or women, it's for both. This smell, I mean, you walk around and people ask, man, what, what is that smell? What, like it's, it's homemade laundry detergent. It fails down to soap, borax, and super washing soda. Can't go wrong with it. All right, while this is melting down, I'm going to show you the other thing we need here. I'll set it up on the counter. It's just a five-gallon bucket from Home Depot. We do have a little bit left in here. I'm going to show you this. It almost looks like a, a gel. That's a little bit we have left over. <laughs> if you can see here, it almost looks like a gel. It don't get real super sudsy when you wash clothes with it. So we're just going to go ahead and add what we're making now to this bucket. 
Let's see here. Now we're it's melted down here. All right, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and write down what you need. I'm gonna get back with you in just a second. Like I said, go ahead and write this down. One bar fells nap to soak. Drill it in your head. I'm gonna drill it in your head. You're gonna save money. You're gonna love it. One bar fells nap to soak. Look for this. If you can't remember the name, it's kind of crazy. That's what it looks like. Fells nap to soak. You're gonna have one five box borax, 20 mule team borax. It is a detergent booster. And super washing soda. Not, read my lips, not baking soda. Washing soda. It won't work if you use the other one. Alright guys, this is it. One cup of borax, super washing soda, one cup. We have it pre-mixed. I'll be back with you in just a second. Yeah. Got it. We are back here. If you can see, the soap has come up kind of sudsy. It's, it's still melting a little bit. We're not completely melted all the way. Turn it down a little bit. You guys, while we're sitting here talking, uh, wait for this to uh, wait for this to boil down and melt all the soap. Another way you can do the soap here, I've, I've done it before, it just takes a little longer. Use a cheese grater. It grades it up uh, a little more fine than cutting it with a knife, but they, they both work well. It just takes a whole lot longer with a, uh, with a cheese grater. Um, another thing, I always keep one of these on me. On my side, right now I have it on, have it on the counter. Arms reach, which is probably not the right thing. I'm sure gun enthusiasts be like, you always got to have it on you, which they're right. But the Glock 19 9mm, you gotta have this while you're making soap. Because the smell is so strong, people outside can smell this, they're gonna come and try to take it from me. But you know what? Not with my little sidekick. It ain't gonna happen. So the 9mm is mine, the soap is mine, and everything's gonna be fine. We'll get back with you as soon as we mix ingredients. All right, we're back. The uh, soap has melted completely. We're going to come over here. Let me get out of the way so you can see. We'll put this in the sink real quick. The next step is going to be fill your five gallon bucket halfway with hot water. Shouldn't take too long. You just want to get it as hot as you can possibly get it out of the uh, out of your sink. Once we do that, we're going to uh, dump the Fells naphtha soap that we just uh, melted down into the five gallon bucket that's full of, uh, halfway full of hot water. So we're half, almost halfway full. Fells naphtha soap is going in. And we're going to stir it really good to get it all mixed up in the water. Give me just a few more seconds. Like I talked about before, guys, on the uh, on the Glock, I'm gonna do a review later on on the uh, Glock, cleaning the Glock. But you know, guys, get out there, mess around with some things, uh, learn it, practice it, practice it, train with it, come efficient with everything you do. All right, guys, we're done with that there. All right, here we go. We'll dump this. This is the boiling water, the four cups of water with the Fells Napa soap in it. We're going to dump that in there. Got a little water running here. Hopefully it won't be too, uh, too loud. But you got to mix it good, guys. Check this out here. When you first do it, it does sud up a little bit. Mix it good, mix it good, mix it good. Like I said, I got an old wooden spoon, five gallon bucket from Home Depot with a lid. Alright, that ought to be good there. Alright, now, one cup of borax. One cup of borax, one cup of super washing soda. We're going to pour a little bit in. We 
We're going to get it mixed up in this hot water. Alright guys, spin, the water's still spinning where I started. Add a little bit more in. We are going to... Guys, don't be afraid to get here and do it, man. you got to get rough with the stuff. Can't sit here and baby and pamper. You gotta get here and mix this stuff up good. Alright, still spinning. We're gonna dump the rest in. Finish stirring it. Alright, while that's happening, we're going to get regular tap water again. We're going to finish filling the five gallon bucket up with the hottest waters you can get out of your sink. We're going to continue to stir. Guys, this process is about complete. The soap is about made. The borax and the super washing soda dissolves very quick. The fells that the soap is a little harder. But the, the thing is, that's why you keep a rag on hand because I'm sitting there looking at this. A little, uh, little blip there. You got to keep you a, a little towel handy along with your 9mm Glock. What I was saying, guys, is once this sets up, once you have it full of hot water, I'm going to go over it again so you can get your pen and paper because I'm sure a few of y'all did not have your pen and paper ready as I was talking, trying to tell you how to make this awesome laundry detergent. All right, you can see now it's filling up. It, it suds up now, but when you wash it, it does not really sud up. So I'm going to get this about as high as I can get it here. All right. All right, now, let me get back here. We have boiled down. We put four cups of water into a pot. We boiled it. One bar fails and half the soap. Cut up real small because it takes a while to boil down. Boil the fat out the soap and four cups of water. Once it's completely boiled, dissolved, fill up your uh, bucket halfway with hot water out of the sink. Dump it in there, mix it. Fails and half the soap. Add your one cup of borax, one cup of super wash soda. You mix it up. Fill your bucket up. The rest of the way with water, how as you can get it, it'll settle down. After that, you put the lid on it, put it away for one day, which is a 24-hour period. When you come out and take the lid off, you're going to have this thick film on top, either like a custard or a pudding. It's supposed to do that. Just break it up. you got to get a spoon, and you don't have to break it up and stir it because it's going to break off in chunks. Stir it the best you can. When it's all creamy again, just like you saw when I was mixing it, put the lid back on it for about 12 more hours. It's going to thicken up one more time. It's going to have a thick film on the top. Break it up again. Stir it as good as you can. Five, ten minutes. Stir, stir, stir. Chop it. Whatever you got to do. Once that's done, it will barely thicken up again. It won't be liquidy soap. It's going to have. It's going to be kind of almost like a crushed ice look to it. Get your spoon stirred up. Dip it out with a cup. Throw it in your washing machine. I usually use about a half a cup on a uh, medium-sized load and a full cup of this stuff on a, um, a heavy sole laundry um, batch. So, guys, I hope you learned something. Uh, I'm not going to come back and show you how the stuff films up and that. I, I just told you, so I hope you wrote it down. Uh, I hope you make the stuff. I hope you save some money. And it really will because it only cost me around $5.69 to buy all this stuff and I'll, I'll be able to continue to make out of the borax Super washer soda. I just have to buy another Fells nap for soap. But guys, this is Mark Sanders with Blackout 33. And remember, you don't have to be 100% ready tomorrow. Just make sure you're 100% ready today.